So uh, this is another comment on um, yeah, I think a video I did uh, titled uh, Stick Ship with the 407 with 2.2 uh, uh, injection EW12 in EW12 Gen4 engine. It's truly worth it, uh, enjoyable. Okay, maybe it's a post sometime. I can't even remember. Uh, okay, um, this is from Dada Kayode. Um, so it reads. His comment reads, uh, thank you for this information, but most bloggers say uh, there is always problem with EW12 Pojo engine. What do you, I don't understand what you mean by bloggers. Uh, I, um, I can't, <laughs> I, I disagree with that. They are nothing like a um, blogger. I mean, what you could say... Most uninformed Nigerians um, post online or uh, argue online that uh, EW12J4 um, has problems. But don't say bloggers. You, do you understand what blogging means? When you are publishing articles, do all that. How, which of the articles? <laughs> Can you point out which of the articles? Uh, we have uh, EW12J4 in you was criticized as being bad or having problems. Which article? Which? Uh, so I don't even understand. You could talk about people that uh, don't even know left and right, or probably don't even know, or people that actually enjoy because they are nice. I'm t okay, let's just bring it down to practicality now. Nigerians enjoy abusing cars. They are not too. I don't sugarcoat words. Average Nigerian ab uh, enjoy not just that they uh, they they are ignorant. No, they actually enjoy abusing their vehicles, both old and newer models. So these people, uh, when they create this problem for themselves, or they intentionally will go and buy a, a messed up uh, Pojo vehicle with that EW12J4 and abuse one, they will expect the car to serve them wonderfully. And when it doesn't give them that service, they will go online and start complaining. Is that the people who consider bloggers? I'm talking about people that you find in forums, car forums, talking uh, talking negative things about UW12. Is that what you call blogging? Blogging are people that actually have um, blogs and this and that. You know, they are publishing articles, making videos and stuff like that. You know, technical people. That's what I'm talking about too technical we're talking about cars now not uh uninformed people there are people who are actually technical in terms of in automobile industry as they are saying they are giving you facts why this is a problem or why this is not uh, oh i had oh they said oh my neighbor is uh, with this engine is having this problem Oh, uh, my colleague is always having problem with his uh, Pojo car with this engine. Well, you not expect that to give you, okay, why? Because of this or nothing. They know nothing. Because even that, their colleague knows nothing. Oh, you say, ah, oh, I've been spending money on this engine. It's disturbing me. It's killing me. But of course, you will find out, okay, how are you spending the money? Are you spending the money killing your car? Are you spending the money to keep your car in good condition? Uh, so they are, it's very wrong, uh, so as I'm concerned, concerning that you need to claim that bloggers because it don't, it's, it's not true. So uh, I'm just want to dispute that so that people who not um, uh, people who have no idea uh, uh, what uh, you talked about will understand uh, why probably you say that which is, uh, to me, out of ignorance. So I just want to put it like that. Okay, uh, like me, um, I like 1.8 engine because of fuel economy. Yes, um, the 1.8 engine, uh, are depending on, maybe you are referring to EW7J4, uh, EW7A, or SU7J4, for Al, is it I've forgotten their number? SU, SU7, there are about two or three of them. So I don't know which of the uh, 1.8 liter you are talking about. However, they are fuel economy engine. 
even the EW10 GF4 is also a full economy in the bet. The SU the EW7 GF4 7A they consume the least. So yes, that's what they are meant for full economy, pure. They are not meant for power or performance. So that's their work. If you want the one that will consume the least, those are the, in terms of fuel consumption, that's what you, you should go for. Uh, but not in all uh, conditions or purposes. So, okay, and now you continue. Um, though you say someone can convert EW10 engine automatic to C speed manual gearbox of 2.2 liter ew12 engine uh yes i said it i said that uh, you can convert um uh ew10 j4 you can in other words you can remove the gearbox attached on ew10 j4 whether it's automatic or manual the automatic is four speed automatic the manual is five speed manual that these are the stock gearboxes that are attached on ew 10 j 4 so you can remove them and put that of the ew 12 j 4 which is that of the c speed right um however of course a lot of things that also have to go with it because it's not just the gearbox people always think that oh <laughs> doing conversion <laughs> converting and engine for one gearbox or another is just remove this, put the other one. Come on, the gearbox works with so many components, which are in this case different from that of the EW10. So if you are putting EW12 J4 gearbox, expect that some other things that works with that EW12 J4 uh, EW12 J4 gearbox will also have to come in. So you are not buying or changing only the gearbox, you are changing other components that comes with it. So you need to understand that. So it's going to cost not just the amount of buying the gearbox. Um, so he said, um, you said someone can convert EW10 engine automatic to six speed manual gearbox of 2.2 uh, injection or I EW12 engine into 1.8. I don't understand what you mean here. Into 1.8. EW10 engine. No, I, I never said such that I can convert EW10 into 1.8. I honestly, it's very confusing what you said there, so I don't understand. So, um, but what I what I would say here is, if you're asking if uh, one can put EW12 uh, gearbox, manual gearbox into uh, or attach it to 1.8, I would strongly advise against it. Can you do it? Yes. Will it work better? No. As it will be the worst form of conversion you will ever do to put EW12 J4 gearbox on the 1.8 liter engine. You know, somebody actually tried it. Let me give you a, a small story. Someone I know that drives, uh, if at that time, that was like in 2012, between 2011 2012 or thereabouts. So he had. Uh, uh, he, he owned about two Pojo cars, but one of them was uh, 407 with EW12 J4. Uh, that's 2.2 liter uh, engine with a four speed automatic, 4 HP 20 gearbox, automatic gearbox. So, um, the engine had a problem uh, to cause the story short. Um, his mechanic advised him, um, you know, some all this shoddy, crappy conversion. Ah, oh, don't want you to put back the EW12 J4. Ah, EW10 will serve you well. It will better. It will give you. Who have any problem again with the EW10 J4 engine? As if the, the the reason for the death of the old EW12 J4 engine was because the EW12 J4 engine was not durable. Anyway, so they did the conversion for him. He now brought the vehicle to me, and um, according to him, he said ever since they did that conversion, the car become like a dog shit, as in it could barely move. 
So you know, notice, yeah, it was moving, but man, as in, it was as if the throttle was almost to the floor every time he's driving the car, even though there was no check light or stuff like that. I, I can't remember exactly, but you know, he came and complained. I pulled out the bonnet and checked, and get it. yeah, it was. It was EW12J4 automatic that was still there. That was the 4 HP20. However, the engine they mounted was. EW7J4, that's 1.8. Not even the, the EW10 that they told him they were going to put. So they put a 1.8 liter engine, not 2.0 liter engine, expecting a gearbox of 2.2. What do you understand what gearbox? Gearbox means the capacity of the engine is used to determine the gear ratios in the gearbox that will be attached on it. So if the capacity of the engine is to uh underpowered how do you expect a gear ratio of a high powered uh gearbox <laughs> to 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 work well with an underpowered engine the engine is going to be struggling doing everything to even move it from gear one the fuel consumption is going to shoot up to the roof in fact let's assume you put a six speed uh gearbox of uh ew12 on EW7J4 engine. Trust me, you probably may not go beyond gear 4. No matter how you push your throttle down. If you try to go beyond gear 4, maybe maximum gear 5, you see your car power will just drop. You, can't, you may not even be able to climb uh, any hill on the highway, as in no matter how flat the, or it, just maybe a small hill that is not even that sh uh, sharp. Or hail it like that. You find that you keep down shifting until maybe you get to gear two before you'll be able to climb up uh, that hill fully. So that's how bad uh, it is to go and carry a gearbox that is meant for a bigger or higher powered engine and slot it on a very low power. It's like saying, oh, let me take um, a V6 manual gearbox and put it on a, um, a 1.4 liter engine. You don't call like TU you for uh, 3 JP for engine. You know, or you take a V6 gearbox and put it on the EW10 J4 engine. How do you expect the, will, will the car move? Even if you can actually bolt it to the gearbox to the engine. So don't even ever think of that. The EW10 J4 one will pull, but also expect that. Depending on how hilly the road is, you may have to downshift to at least gear 5 if you're on a higher speed. But the EW12 will pull it very well without a need to do any downshifting. But it still work, won't affect much, won't cause uh, you experience uh, that lower fuel consumption. The EW10J4 at least has some power. But EW10, uh, 7J4, come on, or uh, don't even go there. So if you have 1.8, the maximum upgrade you can do that for engine to work well is to put the EW10J4 gearbox, not EW12. So don't even go there. So um, that's what I, whatever, I, whatever video article you must have read, where I mentioned uh, com uh, uh, recommending conversion of um, EW10J4, EW12J4, or uh, okay, let us say 2.2 liter six speed manual, converting it on mount, attaching it on 2.0 liter engine. That's what I meant. I've never talked about or uh, even, even think of uh, 1.8 in that regard. So don't even bother. You will hate that back if you try it. Okay, so um I think that's all for the question.